Here is Vivek's 10 um, principles of truth. This is a tweet he put out. It, it's truth in all caps. 10 truths, I guess, that we should all abide by that, that, are, you know, that are just true, that there's no doubting, there's no questioning. One, God is real. <laughs> I mean, he knows what he's doing, right? I mean, I don't know if this guy's religious or not. I, he doesn't look religious. He doesn't sound religious. But uh, maybe, maybe. But God is real is number one principle. All right, he's got the evangelical vote. He's got the Catholic vote. He's got the religious vote. He's, he's nailed it. He's good. Second, in order to just make sure he's got that vote, Number two is there are two genders. I, you know, some of us were confused. So that's good. So there are two genders. Three, human flourishing requires fossil fuel. <laughs> I mean, uh, you go from God to, I don't know, you got God and two genders, you know, right down the line of uh, every, every conservative politician has to say that to Alex Epstein, fossil fuels. This is great. Um, supposedly, Vivek, I, I didn't hear that from Alex, but if I've heard from other sources, Vivek is in regular contact with Alex Epstein. So um, on fossil fuels, Vivek is probably going to be the best you're going to find. Four, reverse racism is racism. Absolutely. Uh, five, an open border is no border, isn't it? Even if you put tanks there but allow immigrants in, is it not a border anymore? So failures of logic here and there. What can you do? Six, parents determine the education of their kids, of their children. Certainly should, and parents need to get more involved, and they should take the reins of that education. Seven, <laughs> the nuclear fa family is the greatest form of governance known to mankind. I mean, tell that to Genghis Khan? I, I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. Um, greatest form of governance known to mankind. Governance for what purpose? For what? I, I, I don't know. Um, and, and does this include Muslims who have multiple wives, car rooms? I, I don't know. Um, anyway, eight, capitalism. Capitalism, we got the word in. We got the word in finally. But notice uh, what he uses capitalism for. Right? Capitalism lifts people out from poverty, from poverty. That's why we have cap capitalism. I always wondered what the moral basis for capitalism is. It lifts people out of poverty. So we got, we nailed that one. At least they used the cap word capitalism, I guess. There are three, oh, nine. There are three branches of the U.S. government, not four. Good one. This is against the regulatory state, the alphabet agencies. That's the fourth branch of government. Maybe... You could even expand it to include the Federal Reserve. I wonder if he'd go that far. Probably not. And 10, the U.S. Constitution is the strongest guarantor of freedoms in history. Only when it's interpreted based on what the actual Constitution meant. Uh, so it, it has to be interpreted correctly. But, but yes, to the extent that it is uh, interpreted correctly, it's good. All right. Um, what do you do about this? I mean, what a mishmash, right? God is real. Uh, genders, okay. I mean, these are the number two, the one and two in your 10 principles, right? Flourishing quite fossil fuel. We get to 10 on that one. Um, Rose racism investors, that's good. An open border is no border. Bam, fail. Chil a parent determined education of children. Yeah, absolutely should. Anyway, should. A nuclear family is the greatest form of governance known to mankind. Eh really struggling with that one. I mean, I, I mean, capitalism lifts people from poverty. That's got to be a six at best. Uh, there are three branches of the U.S. government, not four. That's good, but it would be good if, like, there are two genders. That's pretty clear cut. Why not say the, 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 the regulatory state, the alphabet agencies must be disbanded. They are unconstitutional. That would be clear. Um, and, okay, so anyway, a mishmash. I don't know what to make of Vivek. Um, uh, you know, uh, he's getting support from some interesting characters. I, I, I spoke to somebody who is, um, who, who, okay, so this is the thing. 
yeah, anyway, uh, let's see Vivek in the debate. Uh, if Vivek, if Vivek uh, uh, we'll see what he says. We'll see how he focuses the debate. I'm interested in this guy I, I, because I think a lot of it is show. I think the bad stuff mostly is show. I think he's mostly good, uh, as good as one could expect in the world today. Um, but the bad stuff is there mainly because he has to appeal to the, to the base. He actually gave a good explanation for why he would um, uh, pardon uh, Trump, which is reasonable, I think. His explanation is reasonable. Uh, he'd pardon him because uh, to unify the country, you need to unify the country. So that, that, that's reasonable. Um, I'm, I'm watching. I'm watching. I, you know, I've, I keep ruling him out because he says really, really stupid things. But I'm still watching him because I still want, um, I still want to see uh, what actually how that actually works out.